All right, uh, got to put this video out. I just finished uh, chatting with Boston Girl. She said, you know, I guess AMC is done. And I'm like, no, not yet. They don't, they, because we don't have any shares and everything is synthetic IOUs. And I'll cover you once everything is on the other side, you know, the reverse merger split. There's nothing there anymore. So people, don't be fooled. It could be next Thursday at one o'clock in the afternoon that two or three you know, orders go through, not dark, and actually just they buy because they don't wanna be a part of what's coming. Look, at the end of the day, we all know now, you guys didn't know back then, but now you know this whole shit was a fucking scam. It was a trap. It was the greatest squeeze ever. It was incredible, the amount of synthetics and everything that were there. Now we're at, once again, AMC has no shares. It's gotten to this point, this is the third time, before June 2nd, when I popped up, remember I said it to you guys? I said it. I said, I'm speaking to brokers overseas. They're telling me there's no shares of AMC. Less than 30 days later, boom, June 2nd. And Popcorn had to drop his shares, you know, the AMC shares out and he gave them to Mudrick and they just went crazy with it. Then right before Ape, there was no shares. There was no shares. And at the end of the day, they didn't have any shares to drop. So they turned around and they created Ape in order to help the the, the shorts obviously go long on eight to cover their shorts and popcorn and co all that they made money okay and now once again we built up again to this no shares again and what do we got reverse split merger whatever but here's the thing that court case delayed this a couple of days that couple of days remember what's happening on a daily basis now yeah they could fuck with it they could hold it the market holds the synthetics but not every fund is part of this whole big conspiracy shit that's going on. So let's say at the end of the day, two or three or four funds decide to go, you know what, fuck this, we're not gonna be a part of this. Let's say they close it out, we get a bump up. You get a bump up, you decide if you take your money out. If you wanna hold and ride it, wait. You do what you gotta do. All I'm trying to tell you is we still have a chance until the actual, the actual order goes out for the judge saying yes, you can go do that reverse split merger and Tara. Okay, that deal was okay, whatever. Who, how do we know? The judge can turn around and go, mm, no, I don't think so. We don't know. We don't. Things could always go a certain way. But at the end of the day, am I out of the fight now? No, my, I'm still holding into it, but I'm doing this with the understanding that that date is coming. And when that date comes, there's you got to understand, are people going to cover some? Yeah, they're going to be covering our price is going to go up. Yeah, going to go up. Are people going to get locked out of their shares? I'm guar almost guaranteeing it now. <sighs> Love everybody. But remember, this was done to us to, to skim. You could look, look at what Enron did to everybody. Okay, look at look at what look at what the fuck uh, the, the market did to people during the dot com craze. This is no different. Oh, but the thing is, think about it. We all know what this shit is now, okay? I know I sounded crazy in the past, but now we all know what it is. But I'm telling you, we still have, from today, the 3rd, to the 26th, 27th, we still have a time to have a rip, maybe a run, who knows? You decide what you're going to do. But I'm still thinking that not everybody's going to want to keep their shorts. And if this is cheap right now, they can get out. If this thing starts to go and there ain't no shares... You don't want to be on, a, on the other side of the fence on this because there ain't no shares coming on top. Not for not, not now there isn't. So do I still believe in it? Yeah, it's not hopeism. It's just logic. There is no shares. If we have something break out, how are they going to stop it? You can say the market will do a halt, halt. But if it's a big buy order, that whole thing going to mean nothing but slowing it down. At the end of the day, once they let that thing go, it's continue. You and I both know if this motherfucker goes 30, 40, 50 dollars, people are gonna be like, oh shit, I'm whole again, I'm the fuck out. You know that. Anything above that, sweet baby Jesus. But anything at 25, 30, 40, 50, 60, you know what's gonna happen. It's okay, let it happen. I'll point out another stock and we'll hit it one fucking day and we'll fucking get the fuck out. And we'll do it again and at the end and again and at the end, everybody be happy and they will never mistreat us again. Keep your fingers crossed, motherfuckers, because I still think we're in the fight. We got into the court date.